in his knockout of Maurice Harris. Now Izon gets a right hand across and lands a right hand solidly as Jefferson tries to unleash his left. You can always land straight shots against us. Continues to gain the initiative in there. Derek Jefferson. Jim, I gotta tell you, I hate to say this to George, but I keep saying the same thing Larry called in round three. Combinations, combinations, and more combinations. Derek Jefferson winning it with real beautiful combination. Hard uppercut by Jefferson, snaps Izon's head back, and Izon stops punching for the moment. Jefferson trying to attack with the Ooh. left hook. Hard right hand shot to the body. Great. That right. This guy's throwing big hooks, but a lot of them are with the side of the gloves, and they only sting a little bit. You're hard-pressed to convince the layman there's any safety zone in there. There is a safety zone. There's a safety zone. Even with all these fireworks, huh? Yep. Those shots hurt. Yeah, Aizan may be hurt now. David Aizan's body has never hit the canvas. David Tua got a TKO against him. Izon was still standing. Oh, Same with Grant. This is available for a stoppage any time. Izon is maybe too brave, maybe too crazy to go down. But Jefferson is sledgehammering him there. And Arthur McCanny Jr. is getting a close look. Jefferson looked at referee Arthur McCanny Jr. saying to him in effect, why don't you stop this slaughter? And the fight should be stopped. David Izon is just taking too much punishment. And now Jefferson tires from wearing Izon out with the assault and comes back. Izon landing a left that backs Jefferson up. Too courageous performance from the former Nigerian amateur star. Another big left hook by Jefferson. And Jefferson just bombing away as he tries to finish Izon off again. But they're in the same condition. That's why the referee is not coming to the rescue. One is tired almost to drop, and the other has been beaten down. Stay out of the hooking match. And Jefferson goes down from sheer exhaustion. Second time in his career that Jefferson's been knocked down. He's in trouble here. Uh, did you see a punch? I didn't see no, a punch. Let's go. He's completely dominated the fight, but he's out on his feet from exhaustion. And Izon's got a shot. Oh, but the good body punching that Jefferson Wade was able to land early on takes the power away from Izon as well. Jefferson needs to stand up seven more seconds to make it out of the round. Izon knocks his mouthpiece out, and the bell saves Jefferson at the end of the round as he lands a shot on Mercanti Jr. Let me give the props to referee and to the corner. They were right about Izon. Meanwhile, you heard Jefferson's corner tell him he's got one round to go, and of course, he's got two, and Mercanti stops the fight. Upset victory for Izon in a fight in which he had been thoroughly dominated as Derek Jefferson dramatically runs out of gas.